Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Scott? I'm good. Thank you very much. Huge congratulations on the film being part of the festival. What was your reaction when you when you found out that you were going to be part of this illustrious gathering of movies? Oh, we're really excited, man. Like, you know, it's it's a British film and we wanted to bring it home. So this is it. This is the homecoming for it. Yeah, fantastic. Well, we saw a little bit, a little brief snippet of it in the in the trailer and the, the clips that they showed today. So uh, tell us a little bit about it. How did this come about? Because I know that you co-wrote this with with Riz and, and it's a yeah, story yeah. That's, that's kind of very, the themes and the kind of narrative about it is very personal to, to both of you. Yeah, man. So uh, Riz and I became friends when uh, he was visiting, he was working in New York on the uh, television series, The Night Of. And I was, uh, I had just had a film come out called These Birds Walk, um, but I co-directed with Omar Malik. And Omar became friends with Riz and he was like, you need to meet this guy. So Riz and I met up and we just hit it off. And we decided to kind of figure out a way to work together throughout the years. We stayed in touch. We had a lot of like conversations. We'd always share work that, that moved us. And we realized that we come at things very differently, but I think the core of what we're trying to get at is very much the same. And I think that complementary work ethic was so exciting that we knew that we needed to figure this out. So we did a trip to Pakistan together. And um, one of the things that I knew was that I wanted to really work with him as a musician, as an artist, and see like how we can take this element of his music to another level. And during, we did, during the collaborations we did in Pakistan, I made a little note that I wanted to tell like the artist's journey through music and, and also have this arc through it. So the film kind of deals with illness and epigenetics, but at the end of the day, to me, it's really an artist's journey and learning how to find his voice in a new way. And I think it's actually quite, you know, it, it feels very much of this time with the pandemic. So um, I'm excited for, for you all to see it. I mean, you also don't want to say too much about it because I think so much of film is, is an experience and uh, what we all bring to it ourselves, I think is so important. So I don't want to rob you of that. <laughs> I mean, how, how for you guys, obviously you've, you've, you've had the film in a few other places and, and people have seen yeah. it over the course of other festivals. Yeah. I mean, how has it been for you guys kind of navigating this weird scenario in, in getting the film seen and getting people to yeah. see it. I mean, has that been strange for you? Are you now glad that the festival is a good, you know, London Film Festival is a great platform for people to, to, to start finally seeing it? You know, it's, it's a weird thing. We were very blessed to have a great premiere in Berlin. We won the Critics Prize there. We had, you know, like five incredible screenings and um, we, you know, and then the pandemic hit and it was unexpected and I think I'm grateful for the experience that we were able to have. And, you know, I mourn in some ways what it could have been, but I also, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm also just to be honest, like sadder for my friends who had films at other festivals and they weren't able to really have that premiere experience. And um, I myself haven't seen streaming films because it's a bit tough because um, I have young boys and, you know, and, and the idea of me sitting on the screen, I don't have a, I don't have a TV at home. I just have a laptop. I'm, I'm quite nomadic. Um, my family's quite nomadic. So the idea of me like sitting and watching, you know, a film on a, on a laptop is a bit difficult for me. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's all changed. And I think everyone's trying to figure out a way to, to create something that's a bit more hybrid where there is a theatri a theatrical component uh, with it so I think you know uh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see because I do think the LFF is going to be doing the screening of um, I don't know if this is public yet so but I think uh, we are having a mogul mogul screening because um, there's going to be a few films that, that are theatrical so you know I'm I'm excited for that uh, I, I personally won't be able to be there but you know there there is a feeling of of uh, I, I wish I wish I could feel the energy of a London crowd for a film like this and I think it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time, I think. Yeah. And for, uh, for people maybe who look through the, the virtual program and see your film, I mean, what would you say to them that they can expect from, from the film and why they should, they should seek it out? If you're looking for something of this moment that's dealing with the collision of race and art and the desires of young people of color trying to surpass our own, I think, family heritage, I think maybe this is a starting point for you, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a hard thing to, to say. The film's quite short, it's 82 minutes, 
So if I were you, I'd just start it and see what you think. And generally, I think once you start it, hopefully it'll grab you. And if it doesn't, then we didn't do our job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I wish you all the best of it. Thanks so much for your time. And uh, Thank hopefully, you, Scott. hopefully we get to chat again once once we've all seen the film. Please. I'd, I'd love to. I'm so excited to, to get your thoughts on it. Fantastic. Well, hopefully we can make that happen. Thanks, dude. Take care. Bye. Bye, Scott. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching... Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!